Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. Today, we are doing more of what we did last episode where we're frantically searching for Zorora. Today's the last day to do it. I've looked and I've looked and there's only so much I can do, but this time I'm just gonna try again looking for him. And along the way, we'll be also looking for some Max Mushrooms. So hopefully everything turns out pretty well with that. I will first and foremost look around to see if there's any, um, there's sort of any possibility there being extra raids around. Um, and if there are, I'll definitely be going for them. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, like I said, I'll be rolling around just looking for potential spots where there might be something open. There was that last time, so I don't know if it's gonna be the same thing again. But we'll, we'll look over there and we'll see if we can't find out. It would be nice to just maybe just go for some Dynamax raids, whether they're, you know, what I'm looking for or not, I'll just go for it and see if we can't get some more Max Mushrooms spawning in. Uh, we are totally out of them. We got three in the last episode, and now we need more. We got Gigantamax, Tom, Dreadnought. Uh, there's plenty of other Pokemon I still need to Gigantamax, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do with that. But for right now, right over this way. Yeah, this is definitely where it was last time, too. Yeah, there's just not as many Gigantamax, Dynamax raids showing up whatsoever. So, Ghost Ground, so we need to switch Pokemon. I'm going to switch over to Tom, as we did before. Level 90, so he can handle it, no problem. Um, it's only a four star, so, oh, I didn't want to invite others. Okay, <laughs> hold on, I uh, quit. There we go. I wonder if it would just be better to battle it by myself. I don't think so, but maybe at some point. Um, we could try that, uh, but let's switch back to Tom. There we go. And, don't invite others, let's go uh, to our first Dynamax battle of the day. So after this, I'll be throwing in some candies here and there just to see what we can find. Obviously, this is gonna be Palisand or the evolution of that, I forget its name. Not Gigantamax or anything, it's just Palisand. But if we could get ourselves enough, uh, what is it called? Enough mushrooms today so that we can Gigantamax another Pokemon, that would make me really happy. Hopefully it would make you happy too. So we're gonna have to see if that exactly happens or not. But for right now, let's do uh, G-Max uh, Stone Surge, which will be super effective. Uh, well, actually, is that more damaging than... I guess so, yeah. Actually, hold on. <laughs> Almost messed that up. G-Max Stone Surge, right here. And that's, of course, our G-Max move. We checked that out with Tom last episode. But it's cool to use him a little bit more in today's episode and just sort of see what else we got. But hopefully it turns out well. If not, I'll try to, of course, catch some Pokemon and evolve them in today's episode as well. It's gonna be sort of a, a mix of everything as we frantically try to find Zoroar. Like I said, I think that it ends maybe technically tomorrow, but I mean, as of recording this. It's June 27th as of recording this. I don't know. Wow, that was really good. Um, oh, and he's burned. I don't think that's gonna matter too much, but it is interesting to see how much I've tried with this, but I just have not found Zoroar at all. I do know that Pokemon has confirmed that we have had a million defeats um, on Zorora, so everybody who's done any kind of Pokemon home transfer between I think it was June 17th to the 28th, something around there, everybody who's done a transfer in Pokemon home, including me, I was one of those people, should be getting Zorora, the shiny version, for free. So that's really cool, I'm looking forward to uh, enjoying that, but for right now, we just have to keep looking for him because I would love to have the experience of actually taking him down. Anyways, whoa. He's coming in. And takes out Togepi. Let's keep it going. Uh, Giga Drain on uh, Maracta. It's not really that big of a deal. They're gonna heal themselves a tiny bit, but we just need everybody to knock down his, his shield as per usual. We'll see if they actually do that. Hmm. So far, not really, but okay, he's, he's still getting burned. It doesn't do much. G-Max Stone Surge, here we go. So Slowbro attacks first, and just Scald this time, which really doesn't do much. Well, it's super effective and a critical hit, but just didn't do much. I mean, he's not Dynamax or anything, so you know, it's fine to expect as much. But anyways, G-Max Stone Surge again. Come on now, please. Yeah, there's two more of the shield taken down. It doesn't do much damage, but there we go. So now the shield is broken, and if we attack again, it's just gonna, he's gonna reactivate his shield again. That's how these things work, right? Probably, at least that's what I'm expecting. Because now he's using Absorb on me this time. Really doesn't do much, even though it is super effective. So it does get him a little tiny bit of health left. And now they're using Giga Drain on Togepi. Oh boy. So. Getting some extra health. 
And we are just going to try again. Oh boy, he's getting burned. Fight, and then G-Max Liquid, or whatever it's called. So bro attacks again, as long as you do good damage. Wow, you did really good damage. Almost enough to take him out. So his defense rose sharply, but not sharp enough to protect you against this. All right, so it looks like we actually were able to do it in three turns, that's pretty cool. Good job to the team actually helping me out there with that one. Avery did a great job with this one, but there goes Palisand. We already have Palisand, so I'm just not gonna bother, uh, but I will get some cool rewards, so that's always nice. Uh, experience candies, M and L, Dynamax candy, Armrite Ore, Figgy Berry, Ball Mushroom, Shadow Ball, Trick, and Stored Power. Of course, our main goal is to get the experience candies and the Dynamax candy. Whoa, now there's some popping up. I guess I just had to get that one done. Is that normally how it works? But hey, if I could save on some Dynamax candy today, that would be fantastic. There are still other Pokemon I'm looking for in the water and none of them are you. I need the thing that evolves into you, but not you. Oh boy, just keep riding, keep riding, keep riding. See, I'll be looking all over the place for more of them. There's one back there. Yeah, I guess I just had to do that one for more to show up. I didn't realize it worked that way. Okay, quickly, quickly, what do I get here? Um, 2,000 watts. It's a Baneary, ooh, okay. What's good against normal? I think uh, fighting is, right? If I'm, I, I think about that correctly. So if we switch to Urshifu, who is back over here, we should be able to wipe the floor with this one. Um, that'll be great. So don't invite others, and we'll just go right into it. It's not, uh, what's his name? But that's fine. We'll keep going until we eventually find him. I'm guessing it might be that purple one though, who knows? Here's Baneary though, <laughs> so cute. So we obviously already have a Baneer. I don't have to worry about catching this one. But, let's see what we can do. Uh, Dynamax, Max Knuckle, this is 95, this is 90. So we might as well do this one. It's only five uh, power points with it, but that should be okay. Gonna give that a toss, and as you can see, Here we are. Wow, we're so much bigger than the Baneary. <laughs> it's like the height of her kneecap. Max Knuckle, here we go! So we do get to attack first this time. Wow! Okay, no shield for them. I mean, they'll probably set up a shield now. Critical hit as well. Poor Baneary. Doesn't stand a chance. And what is everybody else gonna do? Of course, now the shield's gonna get set up. It's only two points, so they should be able to get rid of it. No problem. We also have a Halucha, which is also a fighting type, but I guess it didn't work. Uh, Croc Rock using Crunch. Uh, oh boy, Max Strike coming in. It's on Halucha, though. We're fine. We just need to attack one more time, and we win. It's gonna be that easy. So I'm really happy about that. And here he's still gonna attack here. I guess. All the Dynamax Pokemon get like two attacks in a row. There we go, there goes the shield. So now we just gotta, once again, throw in one more punch and we already win. It's that easy. It's as simple as that. Boom, boom, Max Knuckle. Here we go. So already two Dynamax battles done. I'm going to try to be as speedy with these as we can so that we can start looking for Max Mushrooms and stuff. But if we get all the ones available right now done, that would be great. So Baneary's weak. Once again, not worried about catching you. I just wanna save time. <laughs> See you, Veneery. And we get some experience, candies, armor, or Ea Papa Berry, Kelpsy Berry, Nugget, Try Attack, and Endure. Not bad. I think at this point we're like stopping, we're not as often getting new stuff, always like new moves. So there's one over that way, but I'm gonna obviously focus on the one that's closest. Come on, keep paddling. There we go. I know he's right behind me. He's really trying to catch up right now. But I think they'll be able to get to here in time. Oh no, here comes another one though. Quickly, quickly. And what is this one going to be? Oh, oh, okay, fire flying. So let's switch Pokemon. Actually, no, Jazzy is just fine with us. Might as well go in with him then. Um, don't invite others. It doesn't matter the experience. We might as well use the highest level Pokemon we have. Um, this should be the, the Firebird. I think we already have this fully evolved, but hey. At least we'll know we'll be able to handle going against it. It's so intense, it's so cute. Yeah, Fletchinder. Pretty sure we we have this Pokemon so we can evolve it ourselves, um, but I'm pretty sure we already have this one specifically. Wishy Wash is a cool, cool one. Um, that'll be good against the water part. And 
Yeah, if we just Dynamax right away, we should be able to deal with Fletchinder here super duper easy. Dynamax, Max Lightning. Is that the most damaging one though? No, that would go to Wild Charge. Wait, no wait, oh, I didn't Dynamax, I'm such a dingus. Wow, that still did a bunch of damage. Super effective, Flame Body coming in. We don't even need the Dynamax. Oh, wow, wow, that's a recoil right there. So what is it gonna do now? It's gonna set that shield, and let's see what everybody else does. So Thunderbolt's gonna come in, that's also super effective. Max Flare against me, I'm guessing. No, against that poor Pikachu. Doesn't do too much, though. And then, everything's gonna get, yeah, really harsh. Acrobatics, that's also against the Pikachu. Butchinder uses Ember, wow, it gets three moves in a row. Life do. Okay, that's gonna heal the Pikachu, I suppose. Better than nothing, or me. Okay, I appreciate that. Okay, and Pikachu. Not bad. It's actually one of those times where healing's useful. Uh, Aqua Tail now, almost breaking the shield for us. We're just gonna go in with another attack. I don't know if we'll do another. Like, we obviously can't Dynamax now, but we can Spark. Oh, here we go. Oh no, oh no. What are you gonna do now? Nullify the changes. I think we're fine. Now they're attacking again, though. We get a lot of moves, actually. They've now had like two full, two full sets of attacks before I've attacked my second time. Okay, now we can though. Not enough to actually break down the rest of their health, but as long as the enemies can attack, we win. Now is this a great time to use your water moves or your electric moves, please? Thunderbolt, boom, there it is. Good job, Pikachu. He tried to take you down before, but he couldn't. And now he's the one who's taken down. So let's not catch it. It's gonna fly off, but instead, we are going to get a lot of experience stuff. Well, not instead, we could have gotten everything. <laughs> Try attack, brave bird, and hurricane, cool. Everything else is pretty standard. So there we go. So our next one is gonna be way off that way, so we just gotta pedal away. Grab some extra wattage while we can, because that seemed to have reset everything. It was a little weird. Um, but there we go. They are still chasing me, don't you dare, sir. Don't you dare. Once again, the best thing to do here is to just, okay, well he gave up. Where's the next one? Over this way. I'm just gonna do this, because I know he's gonna run right into the rock. And we're good. And now I just gotta pedal my way all the way over here until we get to our next one. Hopefully it won't be too bad. And then there's another one on that island, which actually might be better to teleport back or to fly back. And then just to make that distance, other than trying to pedal back from here. Anyways, what do we got on this island? Please let it be Zorora. It's not, it's Gyarados. So we're doing this again. This one will be extra super effective because it's good against both water and flying. Once again, not really getting what I'm looking for, but max mushrooms are still gonna be stacking up in some places that we'll check soon. But here's Gyarados. And we've taken on Dynamax Gyarados a couple of times now. He's so mad, he's like, ah! So this time, let's make sure we Dynamax right away. Uh, <laughs> that was just me being silly. Okay, so he's intimidating everybody, but we got this. Uh, fight, Dynamax, this is 120, this is 130. So go for this one. Oh boy. And let's see what we got in terms of like how much we're gonna damage him down. If he was like a five star, I think, this might be a bit more challenging. No, 536 health now. It's so cool to have a max level Pokemon. I don't know if I've ever had a max level Pokemon outside of Pokemon Quest, but does that count? I don't know. I think we got a max level Pokemon in that game. It's been a while, it's been a few years now. <laughs> okay. Let's keep it up. Electricity round across the battlefield. Gyarados, of course, obviously is gonna set up a shield. It's a four piece, which honestly isn't that bad. As long as everybody else, with a Thunder Punch. Not too bad, super effective. They're using Thrash. We're fine, we're fine. Dragon Dance now. Whatever that did, it upped its stats. Honestly, not too big of a worry for me. But they do get to move again. This time Max Geyser against the Fairy. Oh no. Okay, so what's going on now? Bunch of rain. Started the rain. Mm-hmm. 
Rock Tomb isn't gonna do too much, but oh, it's, oh, it's super effective. Never, never mind. Just, I just want you guys to break the shield. If you can do that for me, it'd be excellent. But it looks like I'm gonna have to do some of that myself. But hey, they heal themselves. That's good. Let's do more Max Lightning, and they get to use it right away. Not too bad. It broke the shield, so their health should go down even farther now. Excellent. Okay, so they're just about at half health. We should be able to handle this, no problem. Thunder Punch going in. Oh, what a great punch. And I'm guessing, once again, a shield. This time, it's four pieces again. So as long as we can just get rid of two pieces of it with our attack, that'd be great. Max Geyser against two this time, probably the Clefairy again. No, against the Halucha. Will that be a one-hit takedown? It will. So that's not good. That means just like a little less progress we're making. Also means only three more people can faint. I think we can handle this either way, but it's getting a little scary. Wow, that actually was pretty damaging. Rock Tomb coming in again. Another shield piece taken out. And Clefairy, thank you for actually attacking. I appreciate it. Now they're using Hydro Pump. But we avoided the attack. Good job, Jazzy. Uh, let's use that Max Lightning and get rid of the last of his shield here. Clefairy, use follow me. Don't do that. Okay, ready, and oh, boom. Wow, almost taken down. So as long as any of you guys attack normally, it'll be fine. Okay, come on. Oh no, that was it. Oh yeah, because he lost health through the uh, the shield being broken. All right, don't catch. We have like three Gyaradoses now. We don't need another one. Unless it's like shiny or something, which clearly this one is not. There we go, even more stuff. We get a rare candy, which is awesome. I'm glad that we're building our collection back up of rare stuff like the rare candies because I spent so many of them uh, back when I was trying to level up Urshifu. So I'm glad that that's something that's improving. And now, I'm just gonna fly back over here because this is just a quick way to get to that Dynamax battle. Right over this way. So we're just gonna do all the ones that we can possibly find. Oh, hello. Whoa, don't run in the Pokemon, I really don't need to. Come on now, workout, see? I'm gonna get a workout just pedaling all the way over there. And then I guess we gotta get that way. That might be a bit more of a pain. One thing I've noticed is that I'm glad that we caught that one Whalmer because not another one has shown up since. Anyways, what will this have for us? Uh, oh, well I spoke too soon. It's a Whalmer, we're using Jazzy again. It's just the most sensible thing. He's the highest level that can take out these water types. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so let's take on Whale Lord here. I said Whalmer before, but I meant Whale Lord. And then once again, this is the most damaging Max Lightning we have, so we're just gonna go in with that. Oh boy. And honestly, this should probably be the same song and dance. Hit him with this a bunch of times, we won eventually. I don't even remember if I checked the star power for it, but yeah, I guess you can find him in the Dynamax battles if you were having a hard time finding him before. This might be a way to do it. I mean, or if you like went for him before and you couldn't quite catch him. Wow, it's crazy that like with the Dynamax scale, I don't know if he's actually any bigger than what he normally is. Cause like Jazzy's actually the same size now just about. That seems a little odd, doesn't it? Anyways, he starts with a shield, so this one might be a little bit longer to go through. That's not gonna do much damage, obviously, but it'll break some of the shield, which is all we want. Honestly, it seems like it's a pain to deal with. Um, the idea of, oh no, poor Clefairy. Why is there always a Clefairy? Every single time. <laughs> but, it seems like it's a pain to deal with the shield right away. It sort of kind of is, because maybe this will mean there'll be three instances of a shield, but it does mean that their health and their stats are gonna get lower sooner. Because that's what happens every time the shield breaks is that their stats go down. Uh, so we'll try to hit them with something hard this time, and we'll see what it, what happens with it. But they're using Water Spout right on Jazzy. Yeah, the problem is he hits hard, and honestly, I don't know how many Pokemon we're gonna lose here. We that's already one of them down, which means we can only lose three more. Fight, Max Lightning, and Strike. So there's Hydro Pump once again. Not very useful, but I'm gonna smack you with this as hard as we can. Boom, and that'll get you here. That's not so great, but that's gonna be what the shield is, I'm pretty sure. Maybe, maybe not, I would think so. We'll have to wait for this. Uh, well, we're just getting desperate, here we go. See, that's sort of like the, no matter how hard you hit them, how much damage, it's gonna stop there because that's where the shield is supposed to pop up. And that's where it gets a little weird. If he can just keep attacking me though, that'd be fantastic. But now he's using Surf. But that hits everyone, not just me, but everyone. So I don't think we're gonna be able to win this one this way. I honestly think this might be a situation where if we could take it on ourselves, it would be better. 
If he's gonna be using Surf all the time, yeah, just getting the storm is getting too strong with that sand. If any of them, <coughs> oh excuse me, I, I sneezed. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that just sort of snuck up on me. All of a sudden, sneeze. Usually, I feel it coming. Anyways, uh, may, because everybody's getting taken out so easily, I think it actually would be good to one v one it and just try it that way. So I might give that a go, especially when Clefairy uses follow me. Like if Clefairy gets taken out, it's game over. If they could use follow me on Jazzy so that Whale Lord could only attack us, that'd be better. Because we got half of his health down, and that was mostly just us. They didn't really do too much there. Um, so, they're going to use Max Geyser. I don't know if that hurts all of us or if it just hurts me, but they used on the Clefairy anyways. So, they held on, but even then, they use Surf now, and that's going to get rid of the Clefairy. So, we just lost. That stinks. I'm going to try going against it one versus one. Oh, well, never mind. It doesn't work that way. You don't have four trainers. We'll find some others to help you out. Is that okay? No. <laughs> so, like, oh, does that just put me with random people, or does it put me with, like, NPCs? I don't know. I've never tried this. I don't think it's going to put me with, yeah, like, actual other players. This is going to put me with computers. I guess I'm trying it again. I don't see how it would turn out any better this time. Uh, But I'll give it a go. Maybe I'll just cut to if, if it's turning out well. If not, then... I'll be right back. Oh wow, he did it! Awesome! So I was just sort of zoning out there, just pressing A over and over again, because it works, <laughs> and we just got him! All right, it just was, it worked out better this time. All I did was the same thing I always do, which is just hitting him with the, the thunder strike. I don't need him, I'm just gonna leave him be, and we're gonna get a bunch of candies there. Uh, as per usual, pretty good. We also get Waterfall Surf, Muddy Water, and Hydro Pump. Awesome. Anyways, now with that done, we are going to go way over that way, and then we only have, no, there's still quite a few left. They're, they're like actively popping up again. I don't know what I did differently this time, but I'm glad they're back. Come on, dude. Really? <laughs> uh, I do not want to deal with him right now, so we're just gonna try to run away. But after I get this one done, I want to get the purple one done. I'm sort of just trying to loop my way around. Then after that, I want to start looking for some max mushrooms, so that at least we could be getting that done, you know? if. For whatever reason, so Aurora doesn't show up, isn't in the mood for it. That'd be a total shame. Are you stuck out here, or you just want to tell me about the Pokemon? Uh, when you touch clean, clear, clean sand, it can help cleanse your memories of the, the toil you've been through. If you want to clear away all the Pokemon's base points, start with a clean slate. I can help. Uh, no. <laughs> I don't see what the purpose of that would be. Anyways, we are going to just charge over this. Why, why does there have to be a shark in that direct direction. I don't know. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Pedal away, pedal away. Come on, we can do it. I know he's right behind me still because he's mean. There we go. Ha ha. All right. Energy pouring out of it in 2,000 watts. I don't know what this is, but it's a normal type. So we're gonna switch back to over to Urshifu and just do the same thing we did last time. Uh, so Urshifu right here, buddy. Don't invite others. Some trainers will join the battle. Sounds good to me. Okay. Oh, okay, it's um, not Clefairy, it's Chansey. Sure, I might actually catch another Chansey if I get the chance. Um, But for right now, I mean, typing-wise, I don't think anybody's at a disadvantage here, so we should be okay. Wow, six pieces of shield. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. That is so much. This might be a bit of a marathon to get through, but we're going to try the best we can here with Max Knuckle. Oh boy. Well, yeah, that's right. We have gone against the Dynamax Clefairy before, and while it does have that kind of shield, I forgot about that. Um, we were able to destroy it before it could even lose its shield, which sort of defeats the purpose of a shield, but hey, if it works, it works. Come on, let's go for it. Okay. So, let's try this again. Max Knuckle. Ooh, it did okay damage that time, but still able to get some of its health down. You're gonna try Hydro Pump, not too much that time, but as long as all of you can just do more damage to the shield, that's gonna be fantastic. Max Strike against two, against the Quillfish. All right. And, speed of your ally Pokemon fell. Now they're using Charm against Eevee, who has not even done anything yet. I don't know if they're gonna attack or not. I don't know, maybe they did do something and I missed it. Either way, uh, okay, Eevee used Helping Hand. 
That's cool. This will break the shield for sure. Maybe even more than that. Maybe it can do some damage. That would be nice. It does some okay damage. So it's not really turning out the way it did before. I don't think. I don't know. It's been a while. So don't quite remember. There goes some more of its health. Chance is getting desperate. Of course, this is going to immediately set up another health shield. Yeah, I'm a little confused with how this is working out. I mean, nobody's really getting hurt too much, so that's nice, but everybody just keep attacking that shield. That's what I need you to do. Chance to use copycat. Not really that big of a deal, I don't think. Yeah. I mean, the good thing is that Chansey's not really doing much damage. We might just really have to take up this full 10 turns. But Evie's just basically dedicating the helping hand, which I feel like is not nearly as helpful as if she just attacked the shield, you know? So that's sort of a problem. Either way, this is the third punch. I'm glad that it got rid of as much as it did. Uh, but now you're gonna use Hydro Pump. Now, if one more person could just break the shield, that'd be great, but what are you doing now? Uh, that's probably gonna nullify stuff, yep. And then take down on us, once again. Not even worth doing. They got damaged by the recoil, actually, and then Poison Jab, very nice. That's gonna break the shield again. Will they set up another one? I guess we'll find out. But for right now, keep at it. They're gonna copy that Poison Jab, which actually is not the best thing, but it's not on us. So we find right back at the Quillfish, not very effective. So we're shrinking back down the size. I think it's okay. As long as we just get one more good punch out, uh, so close combat is 120. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, well, thank you for the helping hand again. And will this be a one-hit takedown? You bet it will. Excellent. There it is. So Chansey's taken down. Since I already... Then I remember all that, so I think that we'll just leave this be once again. Haven't caught any Pokemon from it, but it's all repeats anyway, so why would I want to catch it, right? Five stars, so we get lots of cool stuff there. Um... And three rare candies, ooh, thank you. No moves that time, but do I really need them? I don't think so, I don't know if I've really used too many TMs whatsoever. So that's a little bit ways off. I think that maybe it'd be better to use the town map and see if I can't get closer. It might be actually up here on Challenge Road anyways, so I'll try that out. Where exactly is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay, so is it in the desert? Then actually it might be even faster. We go like this. I wonder if this is gonna be the uh, the thing again. You can't really see too well from here, but I think it's in the desert. Oh my gosh, not good. But I think it might be another, what we took on before. Um, the rock dog, rock rough, evolution, whatever that is, I can't remember it right now. Aha, so it is. Is it gonna be rock rough again? I really hope it's not. Oh, it's, it's the sand crab. So, I think that I'm fine with uh, with Urshifu again. I might have to double check, but I'm pretty sure we're fine with that. So yeah, we're going again against it once again with Urshifu. It should be fine. After this, this was like, what, our fifth or sixth battle so far? After this one against Kressel with Urshifu, we're gonna look for some Max Mushroom. I already just poked my head into the cave that where it can show up sometimes, where it showed up the first time. Yeah, it showed up the first time with Avery during the story part of it, and it hasn't shown up there since, so who knows. But there's gotta be at least one more Max Mushroom around, you know? So if right now, Dynamax, Max Knuckle, just go for him. Just try to take him out as soon as possible. Running into more and more Dynamax battles where they immediately have a shield. So it definitely is getting more challenging, but let's try this out. Really hope we can get something done this time. We'll have to wait and see. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Yeah, it is a shame that we're just not really getting the Pokemon I'm looking for. I don't know if I missed something when it comes to getting Zorora. I looked it up, like, how do you get Zorora? Just have to keep trying. And from what I saw, it just seemed like people got it from random ones. So I don't know what the dealio is this time. Did that not, was that not super effective? I don't know. Either way, uh, they're doing max strike against us. That's fine. <laughs> we can handle it, we're tough even if it does lower some of our sets. Waterfall, ooh, that's good against them. That should be super effective, right? Yep. Okay, so they're about to break their shield, which is great. I like how we keep getting the same Pokemon we're teaming up with, like this time it's been Quillfish. Stomping Tantrum, and there goes that shield. Exactly what I wanna see. But yeah, if you've gotten Zorora, let me know. And like, no matter what, I'll do a video on the shiny Zorora that we get, even if we don't get Zorora in today's episode. Uh, 
it's just sort of a shame that I can't experience it myself for no other reason than the game just won't give it to me. I've done everything I can look up. You know, I've tried opening up through the news section of the game, because um, sometimes that's the thing people will say. I've done just about everything I can. It just, it's a rare occurrence, I guess. Would you think if it was an event, the thing is, that would be tough about the event is that it's difficult to accomplish. Not that it's difficult to find. I feel like that sort of defeats the fun of the event because there's so limited time. I don't know. I'm doing all I can though. Either way, Max Knuckle going back out. Oh, getting him down to halfway now. That's cool. So. Yeah, I guess at this point he's gonna set up another shield again. Hmm. We just gotta keep on working on taking this out. So I think, yeah, we'll, we'll break our shield in right here. Or, not, or we'll break the shield in with um, our final move. He's gonna use Shell Smash, though. Not good. But apparently his stats won't go any lower. <laughs> That's not good for him. Okay, Max Knuckle should break the shield, maybe do some extra damage on top of that, that'd be fantastic. We haven't lost anybody's health. Like, we actually got a good team this time. So that's cool. Anyways, go for it, Urshifu. Boom, not too bad. And now, we can really go at him. Now, his shield is broken though, so he should lose him out that way. Maybe the teammates can just take him out from this because, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna be not in Gigantamax anymore. There's Brian, wow, that really did some work. Okay, there we go, Crunch is gonna finish him off. Very nice, so there is a bunch of battles. I'm going to look around for some uh, mushrooms now and see what we come up with. But first off, let's see what rewards we got as well. Uh, experience candies, LNXL, Dynamax candies, Armorite Ore, Qualop Berry, Power Gem, Earth Power, Spikes, and Stone Edge. Not too bad. Okay, so we at least have one more Max Mushroom over this way. We're trying to get at least three today. And I did double check, and I did see some concerning, like, conflicting information um, about actually getting the Shiny Zora that I'm gonna try to solve tonight, um, because I'm not sure, like, what the time frame is for actually getting the Shiny Zora, but, like, from what I've seen, um, there's still, the only way to get the fight Zorora is just to find it. But, when it comes to actually getting the Shiny Zorora, some people are saying you specifically need to transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Sun, or Moon, that's electric type. No, okay, for a second I thought that was it. Uh, that's, uh, Heracross. But some people are saying all you have to do is transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Home to any degree, and you'll get it, and I've already done that. And then some people are saying you specifically have to use Pokemon Mobile or Pokemon Home Mobile to actually get the Shiny Zora. I don't understand why it's so unclear and why everybody is saying their information as if it's undisputed fact, but apparently nobody can get this story straight, so I'll have to try to figure it out and hope that I haven't missed out on my chance to get Shiny Zora, because I've been trying so hard for so long now. But we got one Max Mushroom. I'm really hoping we could find two more. If not, I'll have to go on more Dynamax raids, of course, and see what else we can find. Don't run into me, sir. Uh, yeah, let's go into here for right now and double check this area. Not seeing any other more max mushrooms, but I am seeing a battle. Whoa, with the Skarmory. Good to know, good to know for sure. But still not a max mushroom. <laughs> so I just wanna poke around the rest of this area real quick before I get back to it. So we did like, what, five or six Dynamax battles today? I think five. And we found one max mushroom so far. That's not a really all that great of a going rate if I can't find any more. Aha, so there's at least one more. There we go, that's awesome to see that. I'm really glad about that. We got a cluster max mushrooms. So we're just looking for one more. So we'll go on more Dynamax battles and we will just get what we can get and hope for the best. So since we're still you know, looking for stuff, I might as well just go ahead and take on the Skarmory over here. So the Skarmory is a steel flying type um, and I do need to double check steel, but I'm pretty sure Jazzy would be fine for this one too. So maybe we could do that. But um, yeah, I'll double check and we'll see if we can't go against him. So yeah, we are using Jazzy because electric, I think, and steel are fine from what I saw. So I think that as long as we just, you know, take out the flying portion of it, should be okay. We already have a Skarmory, so I'm not too crazy about catching this one. But I just want to take it down as fast as possible as we've been doing with all the Pokemon. Hopefully we find something new today, but at the least, we only need one more mushroom. That really shouldn't be too bad. I'm going to get a couple of these done. We'll see what we run into and hope that we can just G-Max something. I really don't know exactly. I guess we'll G-Max probably Shawnee. That'd be fun. 
Uh, but for right now, we are going to do the Max Lightning on the bottom. And just sort of do the same deal as we always do. Maybe I'll switch it up with the typing soon. I mean, it just depends on who we're going against, really. All right, giving that a toss. Very cool. All right, Jazz, you know the deal. Just hit him with a bunch of lightning. We'll see if this is actually a tough battle. I didn't see the stars of it, but I don't think they're starting with a shield right away, so that at least gives us some kind of advantage. We'll have to find out. Max lightning, though, to start things off, so we at least have better speed than like most people here, it seems, so we got to attack first. Not always do we get to attack first, but that did a lot of damage. Like, a, more than third of their health, I, I would say. That's pretty cool. But here comes the shield from Skarmory, and it's four pieces. So yeah, it's pretty average here. We should be able to handle this. Anyways, Hydro Pump's coming in. Uh, they're using Max Airstream, oh boy. Okay, actually, not that big of a deal. I think we can handle this. The typing advantage-wise, I think everybody's fine. Torkoal's fire, which I think is good against steel, right? So, overall, we should be able to handle this without too much of an issue, as long as they can keep breaking down that shield a little bit. Yeah, use Flamethrower, that's good. Yeah, super effective. So if we use this, obviously it'll break the shield, and then some. I don't know if that extra damage, that would've done the shield damage, like if that overflows or whatever, but once again, they lost their shield here. Well, actually, for the first time. And as you can see, they lose even more health, so we should be at a really good spot to take them out. Hydro Pump's gonna go in there, it doesn't do much. Not very effective, it just, it's just normal. And depending on what they do, because there's no Clefairy in this one. I mean, it's not like I don't like Clefairy, but geez, it's in every single fight. Uh, okay, there we go, we win, awesome. So that was pretty easy. And we're just going to send you on your way as we always do, or as we always do today so far. There we go, see ya. And with that, we get four stars, Experience Candy, ML, Dynamax Candy, Umri, or Mago Berry, Qualop Berry, Iron Tail, Gyro, Ball, and Flash Cannon, and a star piece. Cool stuff. So there's another battle done. Okay, this doesn't have anything. I will look around for another Dynamax den. I really don't know if we'll find any, but it would be great if we could. So we might as well go for this one in the forest. Of course, we're using Dot again for this one. Uh, it's the Heracross, so. Let's switch over to Dot, wherever she may be. I think she's going to be over here somewhere. Maybe. I oh, know. Did I miss her? I must have missed her. <laughs> so there's so many Pokemon now. It's easy to get mixed up. Yeah, I think it's over this way, actually. Yep, here's Dot. And we're just putting that against Heracross, so we should be good with that. Uh, some trainers will join the battle. That should be good, because it's, it's bug fighting. We can handle this, no problem with this. I mean, I guess Biggie could have been doing well as well. But hey, this is Gigantamax, so maybe that'll be even better. <laughs> Here's Heracross. So I definitely wanna do at least like four or five more battles, I guess. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's a little too much, or at least three or four. I really just wanna keep doing them until another Max Mushroom appears, and they can pop up just about anywhere, so we gotta figure that out. But either way, Dynamax, G-Max, Fireball, which one is gonna be the most damaging? They're all the same, so let's just use the one that has the most power points. Okay, Dot, you know the deal. And this, we've actually done this battle before, and it wasn't that bad. So I'm guessing that this time it really won't be that bad either. We'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens. But of course, fire is good against bug. Uh, Dot just doesn't have any weaknesses to fighting at all, so like, that's sort of just bypassed. But let's get to it. G-Max Fireball. Oh, boom. Already about half its health right there. That's fantastic. Obviously, it's gonna set up a shield now. How many pieces out? Three pieces, that's very, very easy to handle. They should actually, if they all attack, they could do it, but they're doing Swords Dance right now. That's gonna up their attack. And then these Max Knuckle against. Oh, poor Snorlax gets him out in one hit because he has Snorlax as a normal type. So that's not the best situation for us, but maybe we can figure something out here. I mean, really, if I can just attack him one or two more times, it's all I need. So you guys, if you can just not get taken out, they're gonna use Life Do when our health is full, which is just not very useful. And they avoided the Mega Punch. It really is just up to me. All right, you guys couldn't have just attacked one time. <laughs> Boom, G-Max Fireball again, of course, is gonna do some good damage, officially getting them under half health and doing two points of the shield. So as long as one of them can just damage the shield once, that's all I need from you. They can just throw it chop against me, which is fine. The fairy use life do this time actually will heal me all the way back up to full though almost 
Okay, now you're gonna use Mega Punch. But they avoided the attack, probably because they're also fighting type. Will Snorlax attack here? No, so once again, we're the only people doing any damage to their shield. The fairy use follow me. Once again, absolutely not useful whatsoever. And boom. So all they have to do is attack once. All they have to do. I mean, it's gonna break their shield. I don't think it's gonna lower it all the way though. Yeah, they just need to do one simple hit and we would be fine. We'd be totally fine. It's just such a weird setup though, where they just seem unable to attack. Mega Punch, don't avoid it this time. Thank you, it wasn't enough. Stomping Tantrum, come on, there it is. Well, I'm glad he was able to finish him off. Critical hit and everything. So, let us just not catch you. I already have one. And let's get the rewards from it. We've saved a lot of time by not catching them. Uh, we got Leech Life, Bug Buzz, and Mega Horn. Cool. So with that done, we gotta keep looking. Not only for the more Mega Mushrooms, but also for uh, for more Dynamax spells. Oh, there we go! Okay, so it only took two battles this time for another Mega Mushroom to show up. So you know what, seeing how we have not found Zorora yet today, I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go and Dynamax a Pokemon. Now, oh, we should check what this is. Is this gonna be Zorora? Probably not, I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but uh, definitely not Zorora. Maybe if Zorora was like on the floor sleeping. I don't know, because I know it's it's an electric type. And there's another one over there. So I'm just trying to figure out what I can. Anyways, keep going for now. Because I'm moving over to what is another battle. We'll, once again, check that, and then we'll go and see which Pokemon we want to Gigantamax. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Shawnee, just because if I can Gigantamax a Pokemon on my team first. Oh, it's actually in the water. Chances are low that that's Aurora, but I might as well go check it. I'm close enough anyways. What was that? Oh no, I already have you. I was gonna say, ooh, but no. I got you, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And there's more in the water. I, I feel like they're popping up way more often now, which is awesome. But let's just roll on over this way. Go, go, go. And what do we got? Oh really, it's, um, I forget what it's called, but Mantine, something like that? Uh, but we definitely already have it, and it's it's not Zorora. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's run back over to this guy. And yep, Max Soup. Which Pokemon do you want to give the Max Soup to? We want to give it to Shawnee. We don't want to give it to Dot. She already has some. So there we go. Oh, this is exciting. If this Corviknight drinks Max Soup, it will become capable of Gigantamaxing. I'll use three clusters of Max Mushrooms and make the Max Soup. Is that all right? Of course. So here we go, another member on our team, the the last member on our team that can go giant, Gigantamax, becoming Gigantamax, Corviknight. Very cool. So, yeah, we're definitely going to just go and try to figure that out now, but if I could for right now, I wanna get the Dynamax candies and really level it up and do everything we have with all the other Pokemon. Um, let's check the boxes. Shawnee's right here. Just gonna put that over Smokey, I think. Sounds good to me. And just do the same deal. Uh, we have the bag right over here. We have plenty of candy for it all, so that's perfect. Uh, wrong button. There we go. So I am looking for... Maybe I went too far one way. Because it's gonna be experience candy. It's all alphabetized, so yeah, I went the wrong way. That's fine. Uh, right here. So there's experience candy, and then there's Dynamax candy. We just want enough so that she can be maxed out. Which apparently is nine. Wow, that's a lot. But still, we still have 22 of them. That's crazy. And... Uh, we could do a lot, wow, 52 experience candy M. Use this item, give this to Shawnee. We're going to give her 25 of them. Let's see how much 25 will get, get her to. She's level 82 right now. And I'll get her to level 85, not too much then. Uh, that's like almost half of them though. So I will give her 10 experience candies L. I just wanna see if we can't get her to level 90. Back up to level 89. Um, and there's XL as well, so we can give her another 10, I think. Or maybe just another five would be enough. Four, apparently. Level 90, there it is. Okay, very cool. Happy about that for sure. So yeah, Shawnee, let's go and try to get some Gigantamax battles done. That'll be great. So I might do a couple of wishing pieces just to see where I can maybe get a battle where Shawnee would be advantaged. Even though I think she's gonna be fine no matter what, but with her being a steel flying, um, there's you know definitely some specific situations where she can be good, not so good, uh, but what is, it? oh, this is Shinx. Oh, I really need Shinx. Now, the problem here is that electric, is it good against, oh, it's not. Okay, so we're fine. Um, Switch Pokemon, 
I've been really looking for Shinx. I've been not been able to see it anywhere, so this is really exciting. So for right now, Shawnee, as you can see, max Dynamax level with everything level 90. Definitely gonna go for you. This is super exciting. It's only three stars, so we should be able to handle this. Because I've been looking all over for this and not Zorora, that's the, the legendary, but there's also Zoroa, which is just a normal Pokemon, not a legendary. <laughs> sort of confusing some of the names. But Shinx is so cute and I just haven't gotten it yet. I really want it. All right, well. Let's try this out. This should turn out just fine, I think. Yep. So we're just immediately gonna try the Gi Gigantamax, and we should have G-Max Wind Rage, which, uh, yeah, a flying type attack that Gigantamax Corviknight can use. This move removes the effects of moves like Reflect and Light Screen, which is cool. This one does slightly more damage, so we're just gonna go in with that. It says it's not very effective, yeah, because she's flying. I did not think about that, did I? Either way, we're just gonna try it once here, just so that I can see the move. I know it won't be very effective, but I really want to get Shinx. Whoa! Oh, I love the wings! Shawnee's grown up! So cool, wow. It's funny, because it's it's just different enough, but it's also not too different. Flying press, oh, okay. Well, our teammates here are gonna be able to get the job done, it seems. Shinx is already setting up a shield, has three pieces. So here's Wind Rage. Whoa, boom. Even the not so effective stuff is hitting pretty hard. Waterfall now. Also not gonna be very effective, but it breaks the shield. That's great, and Wobbuffet still hasn't even attacked. Could we get rid of Shinx in one turn without any typing advantages? That'd be amazing, I'd be proud of my team. They can use Max Lightning. And that's gonna hurt a bit, but actually not too much at all. Weird. Uh, it's super effective. I think it's just a huge level advantage. But Shinx is so cute, I'm so glad we'll be able to get them. Um, and now they're using Bite because Shinx is from Diamond and Pearl, right? Which is one of the first, if not the first, Pokemon game I ever played. Uh, but for right now, we will just try G-Max Wind Rage again. Oh, they're doing Thunder Punch. Won't even need to, they finished it off for us. Wow, that was so easy. So yeah, don't skip out on this one. We are throwing a Pokeball, and we are catching a Shinx. Yeah, we'll just throw a normal one. Awesome, I'm so happy about this. And we get to see G-Max Shawnee. So that is some really cool stuff there. Unfortunately, still not finding Zorora, but hey. If anything, Shinx is the next best thing for me. Well, definitely, I think next episode, I might look for more Zorora. I'll, I'll try. <laughs> if I can't find it, then so be it. Maybe I'll also focus next episode on being a bit more about, um, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe I'll do more Gigantamax stuff. Maybe I'll actually work on evolving more Pokemon. There's a lot to do still, but for right now, Shinx was caught. Not bad. All right then, so Experience Candy's M, uh, Experience Candy's L, Dynamax Candy, uh, Wild Charge, Electro Ball. Very nice. So I'll also add Shinx to our Pokedex. Very nice to see this. It is a Flash Pokemon Electric type. Electricity makes this Pokemon's fur glow. Shinx sends signals to other of its kind by shaking the tips of its tail while the tail tip is shining brightly. <laughs> okay, weird sentence but I like it a lot. We actually, we're gonna send you to a, actually add you to a party. I can swap you out with probably Shawnee or Tom. Uh, that's fine with me. It doesn't really matter either way because we're just gonna add them from the box if we need to uh, uh, do any kind of Dynamax stuff with them. So that is awesome. I'm so happy about that. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the uh, Gigantamax. And now there's a purple one showing up, so we'll explore what that is and see if there's anything new or exciting to see in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Isle of Armor DLC. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.